Heddiw, rydw i am siarad am y rôl allweddol mae gofalwy didal yn ei chwarae yng Nghymru. I am absolutely delighted in Carers Week and beyond to recognise the dedication and commitment of Wales' 370,000 carers and the professionals who work so hard to support them every day. We know that three in five people will become a carer at some point in their lives. They carry out over 95% of caring in our communities, making such a positive difference to their loved ones, friends and communities. A key action we've taken to help unpaid carers was the creation of our innovative Social Services and Wellbeing Act. For the first time, carers had an equal right to have their needs assessed as those they care for. But it isn't enough to have legislation. In November 2017, we announced our three national priorities for carers, giving a strategic focus now and for the future. Each of our three priorities has equal value. The first is supporting a life alongside caring. Carers need reasonable breaks from their caring role. We want carers to have the capacity to care and to have a life beyond caring. But also, all carers of any age deserve to be recognised and supported so that they can continue to care. And it's also important that carers can identify themselves as carers, know about their rights and how to access support. And this is our second national priority. And this leads me to the third priority of providing information, advice and assistance. Carers need to receive the right information, advice and assistance when they need it and in the most helpful way for them. To support carers, we need action, not just by us as government, but from local authorities, health boards and many other partners. To help organisations better understand the, the role and issues faced by carers, we have funded Carers Trust Wales to develop the first national good practice guide for supporting carers. This guide can help inform development and delivery of services, enabling those planning and commissioning services to learn from emerging practice and follow an evidence-led approach. It captures more than 30 examples of projects and approaches which are already making a difference to carers' lives. I encourage relevant organisations to make best use of this helpful and informative research. We all want to work together to recognise the invaluable contribution of carers and ensure they receive the support they so deserve. Diolch